She is a quantum business strategist, a global speaker. She's been featured on CBS, NBC, and so many other media outlets. Please give it up for Miss Josie Brandon. It's such an honor to be here today. And I have to tell you, the very first time I ever met J.T. Fox, I felt like I landed on the right planet. It was the first time that I encountered someone that I felt was completely aligned with the passion, the power, the mindset, and the belief systems necessary to take whatever it is that you have in your heart and your mind and make it possible. I've been building a positive business for over 20 years. And I want to keep it real today because being a businesswoman for 20 years and being able to accomplish things that I have in that time span has been really a miracle for me. I'm on this platform today because I want to make sure that nobody ever leaves here without understanding that whatever you carry inside your heart your mind, your spirit, that you can absolutely achieve. And it comes down to a couple things. Now, first of all, what I usually teach, it normally takes three days. I have clients that fly from all over the country to spend three days in Phoenix, Arizona, and we talk about a few things. <laughs> I'm actually, oh, here we go. The most important thing that you can ever do is to make sure that no one ever robs you of your beliefs and your destiny. I cannot tell you the number of times in 20 years that I've had people tell me what to do or what to think, and it always, always, for the lifetime of my times of, of being in this career path, made me realize that my voice was the strongest voice that I needed to carry. The meaning that you attach to your company is directly aligned to the beliefs that you carry within yourself. How many people in this room know of companies that have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars or thousands of dollars on a marketing campaign that failed? Raise your hand. How many people in this room know somebody that has always wanted to own their own business but never actually did it? Raise your hand. You see, we as creators of the universe have the opportunity to inspire the world. And the way we do this is by taking action. What I realized in my 20-year career span working with CEOs and multi-million dollar companies is that most CEOs never really reveal the trials of their life and their work. And the reason why they don't reveal it is because, unfortunately, there is a lack of integrity in a lot of areas of this industry. There's a lot of people that will make promises to you and not fulfill them because they're driven mostly by the dollar rather than the integrity of making sure that what they say and what they do actually will be fulfilled. Now, for me personally, my belief system is that I want to treat people the way I would want to be treated. I have a very high standard in terms of how I want to be able to receive a level of service. And when I work with clients, it's so important that we get real about major subjects. What you have to remember is that you actually own multiple companies. You own the company or the business that's in your mind and you also own the business that you run. If what you feel about yourself has any level of low self-esteem, do you believe that's gonna affect the way you create your business? Absolutely. Do you believe if you have low self-esteem, it's gonna affect the way you create your business model, your marketing strategy, your branding? Absolutely. And so what you have to remember is you have to invest in the ability to educate yourself continuously. As a business owner, 
It goes way beyond filing for your corporation. The minute you know you want to file and create a company, the, uh, or as long as, as long as you have a company, your immediate instinct has to be that you now have to invest in quality, exceptional experts in your business to help you grow. The statistics out there are alarming. Those 80% companies that close are because they never got the help they needed. Do you know how many companies I walk into? I just recently uh, went into a company. Uh, I literally walked into like 10 minutes. They had all these charts up. It was a $12 million company. And they were saying, Josie, what can you do? And they had three different locations. And I could see there were some major things going on. And as I began to talk to the CEO, I realized that the issues they had was far more than just the systems. It was coming from the top. What I do is I want to ensure that to create a business that transforms and allows us to create a positive impact in the world is we have to learn to quiet the mind. Isn't it amazing that we will spend so much time on planning a vacation, but so few of us actually plan time to create our business structure. And to be honest with you, there really hasn't been anything out there until my, my organization was able to create some, some formulas that would really help companies to create 10x and 20x results. What I usually tell my clients, because a lot of times they'll tell me a lot of things that have to do with they want. This is what I want. And it's great. We want to be clear on what you want. But when was the last time you actually thought about and focused on what your clients want. I always tell my clients, if you're taking more selfies than you are in spending time on learning more about your clients, you got to find more time to learn more about your clients. How many of you actually know what your clients are in pain with? When was the last time you sat down and actually thought about the people that you're serving and where they're really struggling? I will tell you the biggest thing that I find universally at most companies is that we fail to have proper communication and interact properly. What I love about J.T. Fox and the reason why I'm here is because when he says, I am the number one wealth coach, he is affirming to himself, mind, body, spirit. He understands that words have power. Do you know that words actually carry frequency? Do you know that what you say and what you do are creating an impact into the universe? What are you currently saying to yourself? When I have clients spend three days to me, we map out completely their entire company. And I did it in a way that was really simple. As a quantum business strategist, we look at the metrics of a company. We look at patterns, behaviors. And without getting technical, what I wanted to do was create a system that was so quick, but yet was, a, was able to really get deep into the woods of what a company needs. And I did this by creating 14 what I call clarity Ps. First of all, in your company, you want to make sure you know what your purpose is. What is your heart's desire? Why did you decide to create this business? The second thing is you're going to talk about is your partners. Who are the people that you want to go into business with? What kind of characteristics do you want these partners to have? What kind of deals do you want to talk to them about? Your producers. Now, I don't like to call people employees. In my mind, you're here to produce. Produce a result. You're part of the family of creating something together. So I would ask these businesses, let's talk about your producers. What kind of people do you want to attract? What kind of qualities do they need to possess? The next thing we talk about is your products. 
What kind of products and services do you want to offer to your clients? Why do you want to offer these products and services? What will these products and services look like? How will they be packaged? How will you share the message? Places. How many locations do you want? Where do you want these locations to be? What do you want it to be near? If you only want one location, what are the standards by which you want to find that location? How many square footage? What's the efficiency of the space that you're in? Promotions. What's your marketing strategy? Where do you want to market? Online? What kind of formats? When do you want to market? I also advise them to pause. Do you know how many times I walk into a company and I see them do things in their corporation that I recognize that they need to stop immediately? How many of you are still allowing things to happen in your company that you know need to stop? It's taking an impact on your company. Your progress, the innovation that you have in your company. Do you need to upgrade your software? Do you need to make some changes with your business model? Your production, how much money do you want to make per day, per hour, per week, per month, per quarter, per year? Positivity, what kind of letters do you want to, man want to send out to your clients? What's the messages that you give out to your clients? And of course, there are so many other different types of clarities that we can offer. <laughs> the most important thing that I want to share with you is to not be selfish. We live in a world of abundance. And what I've learned in life is that we need to invite people to be able to share these concepts and these visions with other organizations so that they can empower their clients. So we, we invite uh, uh, vendors and anyone that we do business with and anyone that is wanting to do business even like my own company. I keep it open because I want everyone to be able to succeed because I know there's, there's an abundance amount of clients in the world. The last thing is that we teach about is embedded commands. It's very important that we understand that the words, the thoughts, and the things we say are, are vital to our success. So we can have all the systems in the world, but what do you do when you get home? We want you to be successful. And so what we've actually done is we've actually created a program so that our clients are receiving information every single month that allows them to embed these thoughts, these commands into their system, into their body, so that as they wake up every month, every day, that they will be empowered to take their company to the next level. And I know we're reaching the end. <laughs> but I want to say one thing really quick, please is I want you to realize that we have the ability to change world history. And don't let anyone ever rob you of your Ladies and gentlemen, Josie Brandon. <laughs>